James Mathers from the Digital Cinema Society at NAB 2023. I'm here in the 16 by 9 booth and James Lee is going to tell us about the Swiss cage, a new cage. Yeah, hi. This is uh, the new Optimus Swiss cage system. And what's different about this particular system, there's a lot of cage systems that are out there. And I think a lot of customers have gotten tired of having to constantly have new cages for every new camera that comes out. So the idea behind Optimus and their Swiss cage is that there's specific parts that are going to be universal. Top handles, side plates, uh, the base plate systems, uh, attachments for viewfinders, and so on. But what will be specific are going to be a specific top and a, and a bottom plate for the camera that you can get between as new models come out. So instead of ent entirely having to get a new cage system for your particular camera, like when Sony comes out with a new camera or Aerie comes out with a new camera, you just get a top and a bottom system, which then allows you to incorporate all the existing pieces that you already have. So like a sliding plate or a hand grip or a viewfinder mount, it becomes a, a lot easier, whether it's a rental house or an owner operator, to be able to basically take their camera and transition from, from one to the next. So less money involved, uh, you know, and initially, you're going to put the money out, but over time it's going to save you money because of the fact that you're taking your parts and just traveling with you with the different systems. We all know that these cameras change very often, but accessories, they tend to last a while. Yeah, yeah, and, and the way these are made, it's, it's high quality product. We're talking about 7000 series aluminum, which is a very high tensile strength aluminum. Uh, they're hard anodized, so they're designed to really take a lot of wear. Um, and even just the finish, like when you feel it, it's very silky smooth and very well manufactured. And there's a lot of accessory points, 3 8 quarter 20, um, a lot of side plates. They even have powering options that integrate with uh, you know, certain controls. Like this one here, designed for a red, can in integrate a power box with additional powering directly on the bottom of the plate for control, for I.O. Uh, features that a lot of systems don't offer. So there, there's a lot of advantages to this system. And even, even for example, you can see we have a, a Venice here set up, and these parts are all interchangeable between different camera systems. So they have one for Alexa, they have one for RED, they have one for DSLR cameras, they have one for Sony cameras, for Blackmagic cameras. So there's a huge variation of product that you can use the same parts all together on. And you also have uh, Easy Rig. Yes. yes. So what's new on the Easy Rig is we've actually gone from a stable Generation 2 to a Generation 3. And uh, the main advantage really is a small me mechanical improvement to it. And with the stable is now instead of putting a locking pin system, we've actually integrated a locking lever system in into the arm. So for people that are used to traditional locked arm fixed position Easy Rig movements, there's now an easier way to actually fix the arm into a position that they don't have to search for putting a pin in and holding the arm down and locking into a place. Um, this improves the operator time, so it makes it easier for them to just quickly click it in, click it out, and it'll operate very easily and comfortably. Mm -hmm. And what's new from Orca? Well, what's new from Orca is we're actually showcasing their still photography or DSLR line of bags. Now, those are the actual yellow and gray type series of bags that are more centric towards still photographers or anybody that uses mirrorless cameras. So we have a whole line of accessories, whether it's backpacks, briefcases, travel, rolling cases, trolleys, rain covers. So a lot of different accessories that are going to be specific for camera operators that want a, a, a specific look that goes with, with their type of style of shooting. So this is the Aura 536, and it was designed to carry multiple cameras while you're traveling. The top section allows you to put a, a camera with a long lens in. You can adjust it with Velcro uh, adjustment dividers. But what's unique about it is also it has a side pocket that you can actually unzip while you're wearing the backpack and quickly draw out another camera that you might want to take a quick photo of something that you see. Um, it's also built in with a little side pocket here and towards the front, which a lot of our customers are actually using to put drones directly into, so you can carry a lot of different accessories within one particular case. So we have everything from specialty backpacks that do quick draw, so you can carry multiple DSLR cameras into or mirrorless cameras into, lens accessory bags, or even small little camera carry cases, as well as accessory carts. So there's a whole new line of uh, Orca bags that are available for that, for that particular style of shooting. As cameras get smaller, the bags get smaller. Yeah, they sure do, or they get more specific too, so. Thank you very much, James. Thank you.